So you can, you can think about your research proposal exactly in the same way as you think about a research paper. Um, so uh, I think the first question you should ask yourself is, is this an important question? Right? So will people care about uh, reading your research enough that they're going to be willing to spend time and effort trying to understand what you're doing? Okay? So, uh, and when I say people, it's not just academics, it's also uh, policy makers, um, uh, it could, the society at large, entrepreneurs. Uh, so you need to, to have an idea which is interesting, something which people will care about. Um, the second thing is um, you need to go, you need to bring something new uh, to the table. Okay? So uh, having an interesting question is important, but you also need to show that you have a different way of looking at these questions. It could be new data, it could be a new method, it could be a new uh, model you're thinking of, but there has to be a contribution. And for that, what's important is that you're gonna be, you have to be able to position what you're going to be doing um, relative to the existing research. Okay? So really well understanding what the existing research is and how you differ from this existing research uh, is going to be crucial. Uh, the last thing you have to uh, think about is the feasibility. Right? So you can have a nice idea. If it's not feasible, it's not going to bring you very far. So are you going to be able to get this data? Are you going to be able to apply this new method? The model you're thinking about, is it feasible? Are you going to be able to solve it? Uh, you also have to convince yourself and convince um, people around you that this is something you will be able to achieve. Okay. If you have the three components, if you, ca if you can say something new about an important question, I don't think we can ask you much more than that.